The head of business development at the Ghana Standards Authority, George Enti, says the absence of strict standardization could derail government's industrialization drive. He was responding to concerns raised over lack of adherence to standardization in Ghana. The Africa Continental Free Trade Area Agreement makes Africa the world's largest free trade area since the formation of the World Trade Organization. The agreement will cover a market of 1.2 billion people with a combined gross domestic product of $2.5 trillion across the 54 member states of the African Union that have signed up to the agreement. Some Ghanaian products exported have in the past been rejected due to its substandard quality and service provision in Ghana has fallen short of global standards as per the customer service report in 2018. According to data from the Ghana Standards Authority, only 5% of exported products from Ghana are tested, while the remaining 95% is exported out of the country without the necessary testing. Mind you, the 95% who are exporting without going through us, they are the ones whose products end up getting re rejected you know, uh, at, at the foreign markets and, and they are the ones who end up bringing the name of the country into dis disrepute because we get an alert one, two, three times and then there's a ban. The IT infrastructure that is at the port, like I rightly said, focuses a lot more on imports. So let's say if customs is the one at the final end of the export chain before a product leaves Ghana. Customs will not require you to have the certificate that the law requires you to have from GSA. You know, that is an obvious lapse, you know, in the inf infrastructure. And it is something that we are working to fix. So that is something that uh, we, have, we have looked at. We started working on, on that infrastructure sometime late last year. Uh, we're almost at the end of it. And the moment we are done, we'll roll it out. So what steps has the Ghana Standards Authority taken to ensure that every product the country exports is tested? With the Africa Continental Free Trade Area and Ghana hosting its secretariat, concerns have been raised about how the lack of strict enforcement of standards could impact on the gains Ghanaian manufacturing companies could make from the AFCFTA. But the Standards Authority says it is prepared to ensure Ghanaian manufacturers gain from the AFCFTA by ensuring adherence to standards. Currently, we are working with a tentative start date of July 2020. So uh, I would not say we are completely ready as it stands now because um, it comes with a, with a combination of things. Uh, we need the resources. We, we need the resources to be able to beef up our operations at the ports and on the market. Um, that has not been dealt with yet. But internally, what we can do, we are doing. So I will not say we are fully ready yet, but I think we are getting there. Because uh, what this AFCFTA means in essence is that you are creating one market. You are trying to remove the tariff barriers, you know, so that we will be left with what we call the technical barriers, which are the standards and all of that. Because the fact that we have one single market does not mean that you can bring anything into the country. The operational phase of the AFCFTA was launched in Niamey, Niger, on July 7, 2019, with a one-year transition period before the real trading begins among state parties on July 1, 2020.